Woody Womack with National Basketball Analyst Rob Cassidy. Rob, big news today is five-star Patrick Baldwin headed to UW-Milwaukee to play for his dad. This one's going to catch some headlines when you see that type of name headed to a school in the Horizon League. Tell us how it all went down. Yeah, you know, blood is thicker than water and thicker than recruiting pitches from Duke, apparently. Uh, Duke was kind of thought to be the leader here. And, you know, people will point to the season that they had and the struggles that they had and everything that's kind of gone haywire in Durham this year. But th that's not the case here. I think this is the case of Patrick Baldwin Sr. is needs a player like his son to get his tenure, quite frankly, turned around at Milwaukee. It has not gone well for him there. Uh, I think that, you know, the natives are getting a little bit restless. But you bring in a player like this kid who happens to be his offspring. Uh, and things can change uh, pretty quickly, I think, in the old Horizon League when you get Patrick Baldwin on the floor uh, in that kind of competition. I think it's been proven that you can make the NBA from anywhere, and that's the ultimate goal here. And really, who knows how to utilize your skill set better than your own father, who has watched you play youth basketball all the way up until now. It's going to be a mighty interesting story to follow going forward. Uh, and as somebody that likes small school basketball and watching the rats kind of duke it out on the floor in front of, you know, 5,000 fans. <laughs> I'm excited about this. I think, I think it'll be a fun, I think it'll be a fun story to monitor. So the big question for the overall, you know, recruiting and transfer landscape, who, who comes, who comes to join them? Does this help lure in some other players that they might not normally get because people want to go there and, and have one big run, like you said? Yeah, I think it probably could. Now I don't think you're going to see another top 50 player end up there. Um, but I think, you know, some guys that maybe were choosing between other, you know, mid majors might end up, but giving them a harder look. You know, you saw this on a larger scale, kind of when Michael Beasley chose Kansas State. Uh, that happened years ago. He was the number one recruit in the country, choosing a non-traditional basketball school. Uh, then, you know, everybody jumped in the boat. Billy Walker jumped in the boat. And guys jumped in the boat. This won't happen to that scale because Baldwin, A, isn't the number one player in the country. B, he's not going to a high major. But I think some teams that are looking at some, some players that are looking at other, you know, mid to low majors uh, could reverse course here and maybe end up there. It's definitely an attractive name and it's an attractive person to play alongside. All right, so big time commitment for a, a surprise school. Be sure to check out Rivals.com for more coverage of all things recruiting football and basketball. Thanks, Rob. All right.